Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I am doing the Pisces Marathon. In this reading, we are going to be seeing what is coming up for you guys for the next three months, okay? So that would be October, November, and December, the wrapping up of this crazy, crazy year, <laughs> all right? Um, let's see. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For all of you guys who are not yet a part of the Pisces Club, I invite you to join. I'm doing Pisces marathons every weekend of September, and if they go well, I might extend that, all right? So please click on that subscribe button, totally free, and you're going to get a full menu of readings to choose from. Today I am going to be using the Earth Bones Tarot, got it on Etsy, quite nice. I just realized that everything kind of like combines. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Messages for October for Pisces. Taking the cards that fall on the table upright. October. October 2020 for Pisces. October 2020 for Pisces. Okay, in October, you are definitely, definitely going to be seeing a lot of your manifestations coming to life. And you're also going to feel very much more empowered to ask for more from the universe. The, um, the portal or whatever you want to call it for Halloween is going to be very powerful for you too. I see here that you are going to manifest something that you never thought would be possible. So it's like a big deal. Something that impresses you somehow. It's like you're impressed with your own manifestation skills. Things change quite quickly for the better. And you're like, whoa, like if I can manifest this so quickly or so easily, what else can I manifest? And that's going to trigger within you the desire to plant new seeds and see the manifestation coming through on the moon faces. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Virgo, a Taurus on the month of October who may be relevant. Also a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Honestly, there is more water energy here in October for you than Earth, but the Page of Pentacles is here, okay? Knight of Cups, this manifestation that you are bringing in could be related to love, could be related to a love offer, love proposal, romantic situation, or someone extending an invitation for you of some kind. This is someone who is very gentle, someone who's very sweet, Someone who is very much in their emotions for you, Pisces, all right? This is most likely related to love for the vast majority of you. This person sees you for who you are, that's what I'm hearing, and wants to share their water with you, their emotions with you, their heart with you. You might realize that this manifestation comes in completely around the time of the full moon. And with that person, it seems like you're going to be planting seeds for the future. Now, if this is um, not related to love, this may be related to work. Some of you guys might get to know this person, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and manifest a whole new world in regards to your career, perhaps, all right? Take it as it resonates. Messages for October, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Pisces. So 24 October, 2020. In October, you're going to realize that your power is being magnified dramatically. You're gonna impress yourself. You're really going to impress yourself. You're not gonna impress others because you're gonna keep this very secret. 
you're gonna keep this very close to your heart because you don't want to share that energy with people who may um, you know bring in bad vibes so you're gonna be quite secretive about the things that you are manifesting and that's just gonna give them a little extra strength your intuition is gonna be on point if you are a healer, a therapist, a reader, tarot reader, or energy reader, or um, a Reiki master, any kind of uh, energy related thing, you are going to be shockingly accurate. Mind blowingly <laughs> helpful and powerful. You may feel as though you're attracting moth, moths to the flame, kind of. These are candles. You may realize that a lot of people are perceiving your energy in October and trying to get close to you. Some you're going to be, you know, very excited to share your energy with, but others not so much. Could be creating a little bit of conflict within you. I do see you retreating. I do see you... Kind of like stepping back into your own space. I'm almost getting the energy of the hermit here. Then we've got three of wands. Waiting. Waiting for something. Waiting for the full moon. Or waiting for the date in which something is going to come together. Perhaps with this person. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, energy. Someone here is very interested in you, Pisces. They're excited. They're jumping to meet you, so to speak. There's a little fish that's trying to get out of the water here. All right, now let's take a peek at November. I'm going to align all of the cards here for October so we can see a little bit of a timeline, all right? If you're interested in this deck, it's um, called the Earth Bones Tarot. It's on Etsy. It's very sweet, very cute. It ships really fast, too. Alright, so that's October. Let's see now November. November 2024 Pisces. November 2024 Pisces. Picking the cards that fall on the table upright. November 2024 Pisces. Okay, let's see what's up with November, guys. Starting with the Knight of Swords. Hmm. November seems to be giving off this very fast moving energy. Things peak up speed like impressively. October, though, feels a little bit slower but more powerful in regards to your energy. What I'm getting here with November is that it's quick. The, the pace of it is quick. It's, one, it's gonna be one of those months in which we feel like it just started and then it just ended. You know what I mean? Like it, it went by really quickly. This month of November, I am not feeling as many um, new beginnings and completions as I'm feeling in October. In October, I see completion and surprise from your side and then the need to plant seeds for new cycles. 
Whereas the November, what I'm seeing here is a progression of everything that is already there, that you have already set in place. There's going to be some important choices to make along the way to continue to um, sustain the previous intentions that were set. Be careful not to move too quickly because the energies are going to move very quickly. And if you choose to be in a hurry too, you may make a little bit of mistakes that are not really necessary. Okay, so just be aware of that. You are well on your way to success. You're exactly where you need to be here. You could be benefiting of the presence of someone who's very wise. You could be maybe listening to some videos, courses, meditations. Um, maybe you could be meeting with mentors online or something like that. And this could be very beneficial for you, Pisces. It could definitely help you make some of the important decisions that you're going to be faced with in the month of November. Be mindful about your money. It wouldn't be a bad idea to start saving or to continue saving. More messages for November or Pisces. Maybe do some kind of like Christmas saving or... Emergency saving, not that something's going to happen, but you know, it's good to have something on the side. It's good to have something to fall back on. Especially because you don't want to be overburdened, right? So if you put a little bit aside, that's going to be quite helpful. Lots of emotion too, but it feels balanced. You may need to explain yourself a little bit to some people around you. You may come into the situation of having to validate your point of view or explain to another person like, this is why I did that, you know what I mean? Like, this is what I was thinking, this is my thought process, that's why I chose to make that decision because someone here might not get it. Someone here might feel overburdened with the way you're doing things or not doing things and they may feel a little triggered by that. So it is important for you to definitely state or explain, you know, not too much, just the necessary, what you feel comfortable with, um, your decisions because that's going to be very helpful and that's going to Create a very powerful line of communication with someone who seems to be important for you. So communication is definitely key in November to avoid conflict and any kind of um, burden for you or for others. Mostly for others, I think. But if you feel like someone around you is burdened, you also feel kind of burdened, so it's for you too. All right, messages for December 2020. Messages for December 2020 for Pisces General. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, December 2020. You're gonna feel a little shocked in December. Looking back at 2020, you're going to be like, where did this year go? Maybe you already feel like that a little bit, but it's going to really kick in in December. You're going to be like, I don't understand. What did I do with my time this year? Like I spent most of my year just, you know, at home or something like that. Something, you know, along those lines. But December is definitely going to be extremely positive Pisces. Look at this. These are all... Almost all major arcanas. This is so powerful, Pisces. You're going to wrap up the year with a lot of good, powerful, strong energy. All right. So November is going to be kind of like a middle month. It's going to be um, a transitional month. But December is going to be the harvest. All right. We've got the star here. Wishes fulfilled. Big wishes big completions and lots of enjoyment all right 
things are gonna pay off big time in December. We got the chariot, so we're gonna be moving forward um, strongly, quickly, grounded. Progress is going to be, be mind blowing. I see all skulls here, and for some reason, mind the mind mind blowing is going to be it's, it's what I'm hearing. Okay, what I'm getting. You're gonna feel like justice is being made. Like something that you deserve and have has have always deserved comes in. Could be related to a Libra, could be related to an Aquarius, a Cancer, maybe an Aries. You're going to be feeling on top of the world. You're going to be feeling like the King of Kings. What I'm getting is expansion of your third eye, crown chakra, mind-blowing success, mind-blowing happiness. Something is going to come together. It's going to blow you away. It's gonna blow you away. It's gonna be so positive, Pisces. Wow. And it could be um, related to something that has to do with your emotions. Could be related to a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio person. Could be um, related to love and romance. But I feel like this energy is representing you, the Queen of Cups here. Massive, massive, massive success here. I wonder what's coming in December. What's going to make this feel this way? Damn, it's crazy. Um, we've got the Knight here as well. Uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. So strongly, we have a possibility of an Aries here. This person is going to come in and it's going to ignite a fire in you. Or you may be feeling incredibly fiery and passionate and happy and you may feel like you want to celebrate everything in a massive way massive way like this is going to be a party month um maybe some of the restrictions are going to be lifted and you're going to feel like you're finally free and that is going to kind of like join in with the completion of many of your goals and the arrival of something incredibly beautiful for you something that you're incredibly grateful that you feel you've always deserved that is so amazing, Pisces. Um, this is what I have for you guys, October, November, December 2020. I do get a feeling that you're going to be like, where did this year go, though? Like, uh, you could be feeling that way already. I said that, but I said it again. Alright fishies, this is what I have for you in this lovely reading. Thank you so much for being a part of the Pisces Club. Thank you for being a part of the Pisces Marathons. Know that if this doesn't necessarily resonate with you, there's a full menu of readings in my channel being posted every weekend of September. Um, so you can check out the ones that resonate with you the most, alright? Under this video, you're going to find links to my website, online courses, physical products, and donation links, alright? I love you guys. Thank you so much for being a part of the Pisces Club. I'll see you very, very soon.